Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray you're having a wonderful day. And guess what? We're in our eighth holy convocation of North Carolina, third ecclesiastical jurisdiction, and we are having a ball. Last night, we were blessed by the ministry of Bishop Don Shelby, and I'll tell you something. He dealt with keeping Jack in the box, and I thank God for the word of the Lord, and tonight, 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 we're going to have an awesome service. We have tremendous guests who are coming from Virginia, and we have a awesome speaker, Evangelist Naomi Thomas, who is going to minister the word of the Lord to us tonight. She's the first lady of New Community, Church of God in Christ, and her husband is the Bishop Thomas. And, and listen, the saints are coming, and the saints are gathering from NC 3rd, and it's going to be a mighty move of God here tonight. Now, I want you to tune in. I want you to watch. I want you to come. All who are watching this, listen, we want you to come upper room members and friends we have guests coming from out of town and we don't let our guests come and we're not present to show good old first class uh, nc third hospitality and the word of god is going to go forth with power and authority and on tomorrow during our day sessions my friend my chief of staff superintendent tommy eugene quick is going to be the day session speaker and and listen, we're going to have a move of God and then we're going to have a luncheon for the pastors and our speaker for the luncheon will be my very own first assistant superintendent, Christopher Stone, and God is going to use him in a mighty way. And then tomorrow night, yours truly will conclude with a word from the Lord. God has already given me what to preach, and it's a love story. And I'm excited about preaching it. I'm excited about talking about it. Our theme this year has been the sufficiency of God's strength. You know, the Lord spoke to me for the first of the year. When God said strength, and here we are in the eighth month of the year, and I'm able to, to report that the strength of God has been present throughout our lives, our jurisdiction, our ministry, uh, uh, down all throughout this year. The question is, hey, Wooden, hey, NC Third, hey, Saints, hey, Body of Christ, how's that strength thing working out for you? Well, I'll tell you how it's working out. Our God is strong and mighty. Our God is mighty in battle, and we're able to lift up our heads, praise God, and to rejoice in Him, and to make our boast in the Lord. We're still alive. We're breathing. We're strong. We're going forth, and we're on fire for God. Well, I'm just as fired up eight months later as I was when the Lord originally gave me the theme, strength, strength, strength. I'm here to tell you, my friends, that the God of the Bible, and Gary, I'm going to preaching. The God of the Bible is the strength of our lives. He, and listen, the strength of the heels are heels, and he's going to strengthen you right now. As a matter of fact, somebody watching this, you, you're feeling God's strength right now. You tuned in just to get the promo, and you see all the things that's going on in the world today. America is crazy. The world is crazy. Sin is everywhere. But I tell you what, I tell you what, you're not lazy. You're not weak. You're not despondent. You're not giving up. And if you were before you heard this, you're not anymore because you know that I'm telling you the truth. The God of the Bible is the strength of our lives. The God of the Bible is our power. He's our fortress. He's our refuge. He's a shelter in the time of a storm. And I tell you, I've got to calm down. Woo! So listen, I want you to join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. I'm telling you, uh, Evangelist Naomi Thomas, she's going to preach and you're going to say amen. And uh, I, can, I can holler, wait. Now, you don't want to miss tomorrow night. Tomorrow morning, nor tomorrow night, God has given me a word. And uh, I can hardly wait to share it. I really want to talk to you a little bit about it, but I got to hold it until the time. So uh, join me tonight. Now, I don't have a, uh, a drum roll. Well, listen, I'll do it right here. For our eighth 
holy convocation for the word of God. We're going to honor our supervisor, Mother Beverly DeJuney. She's such a lovely lady. I thank God for her. It's been Women's Day here at the Upper Room all day long. And uh, during the Women's Day uh, at 10 a.m., I'm, I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm closing. We have a men's gathering. And uh, uh, Elder Anthony Wilson is our men's president. And uh, I, yours truly did a Q&A today. And I got a chance to share with them some of the low, 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 low times that I've experienced as the preacher. I've got a chance to share with them the humble beginnings. Got a chance to share with them living, uh, uh, starting out at the bottom, going through, being crushed to the point where I didn't even want to be here anymore. Only to see the God of the Bible revive me and set me on fire and pick me up. And he never promised in those days when we were struggling and barely able to, uh, uh, able to make it. He never said to me, preacher, I'm going to do this, 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 and this for you. He just said, follow me. He just said, hold on. And I want to say to some preacher out there, your church is not growing right now the way you want it to. Your money is not flowing the way you want it to. Things are going through. Some of the people who said they would never leave you have left. You've dealt with disappointment. You've dealt with pain. Well, I want to tell you, those who are walking in a measure of success, we are experts at that. We've been down that road. And I want to tell you, hang in there. Keep preaching. Serve the Lord. Don't be bitter. And whatever you do, don't stop. Somebody's watching. You were preparing your sermon and you just, just past Sunday, God gave you a word and you preach and nobody showed up but your wife and your family. Oh, that thing, that's a crushing feeling. I know that feeling. But let me tell you something. If you keep on, if you follow God, if you continue, you will walk in what the Lord has for you. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about those who are going to talk. Listen, they talk no matter where you are. If you're at the emphasis of your ministry and you're barely, you're barely making it, they're going to talk and say that your God is not real. If you're blessed of the Lord and highly favored and you got a suit on and you're going forth, they're going to say that you're still in the money. So let them talk. You just serve God and he's going to bless you. All right, I got to go. Got to go back to the convocation now. And uh, I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Join me tonight. God bless.